Hey guys, so today we're going to cover a problem um, dealing with chords and perpendicular line segments. Um, so before we get into uh, the details of this one, I just want to bring up um, a few definitions. So here I made some index cards. Um, here it just says chord. And I wrote on the back the basic definition of a chord. So it says a chord of a circle is a line segment with endpoints on the circle. So here we have some circle and it has just a line segment um, running inside of it where A is on one part of the circumference and B is on the other part. And then here is one of the properties of a chord that is being... Um, uh, bisected uh, by a diameter and that only occurs when that chord is perpendicular to it so if the diameter of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the, then the diameter bisects the chord and its arcs um, and it doesn't just have to be the diameter it could also be the radius but pretty much anything that's bisecting uh, and is perpendicular to the chord um, has these properties alright then so with that being said we can now jump into this problem so it says in the diagram below of circle O Radius OC is 5 centimeters, chord AB is 8 centimeters, and is perpendicular to OC at point P. Uh, now it's asking us what is the length of OP in centimeters, so we're trying to find this value here. So, again, because this is our radius and it's perpendicular, um, we can automatically assume that it is bisected. So it, we know from the description that AB is 8 centimeters, so that means AP is 4 centimeters and PB is also 4 centimeters. Okay, so we know they're giving us this that OC, uh, this radius, is 5 centimeters, and now we're trying to find, figure out this part. Now, the beauty of geometry is that we can create shapes that we are familiar with and see how we can use them to help us find um, new missing features. So, here I have a right angle, and I know that if I draw a radius anywhere, it's always going to be the same length, in this case, 5 centimeters. So, I can actually draw a right triangle from O to B. And I know OB, because it's a radius, is going to be 5 centimeters. So now, if I turn the paper, I have this right triangle that's 4 centimeters down here and 5 centimeters here. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what uh, OP would be. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, my hypotenuse is 5 centimeters, so it's going to be 5 squared. Um, one of my legs is going to be 4 centimeters, and my x is going to be that b squared. So I have 16 uh, plus x squared equals uh, 25 minus 16 on both sides. And x squared equals 9. So x equals 3. And that is choice 3 for this problem. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, the nice thing about these types of problems is that uh, we can create uh, shapes that are helpful to us um, and, and pretty much go back to like really simple um, understanding of formulas to help us figure out uh, what looks like a complicated problem. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Um, uh, let me know if you want me to make more videos about these types of problems, or if you have any other suggestions, I'll be glad to um, uh, hear them out. Alright guys, bye!